Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hi, my name's Lily, and I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday this summer at 12 p.m., so be sure to just subscribe to my channel to be notified, or be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on my notifications if you want to be notified of when I upload and you want to, like, keep up with me. Yeah. So today's video is going to basically be a no makeup makeup look. This is kind of like my go-to look. Yeah. There's no foundation involved. It's fairly natural. And yeah, I've been doing it a lot and I really like it. So yeah, if you want to see how I achieved this all natural makeup look, keep on watching. Wow, my sunburn is barely showing up. I did color correct my forehead a bit because like my forehead is beet red. So for this look, it's basically like a look I do when I want to go out and I want to wear a little makeup, but like I'm not going to do like a full base of makeup, like you know, it's just like when I want to kind of like put myself together a bit. Um, this is kind of like a very like personal look, you know, like you can switch it up to fit your personal needs. How I kind of look at it, it's like looking at me like what is it that I see that like I definitely want to touch up you know so big thing for me is i'm very very oily so even though i'm not putting on foundation i am still going to use like an oil control primer just because like if i don't like i like no i need oil control <laughs> i'll put all the products down below oh, i'm looking in the mirror by the way so yeah but i'll put all the products down below of what I'm using but yeah I'm so oily so oil control primer is just like the way to go for me it really makes a difference so the next thing for me would be to conceal I normally like I try to put like little to none so like looking I have like a few spots that like aren't so hot so I'm just gonna like conceal those a little bit i'm not using like a heavy duty concealer because i find especially since i have freckles if i like spot conceal with a really high coverage concealer like it like covers some of my freckles but not all of them you know so like it looks stupid like that's literally all i'm gonna do because you know it's not like her ooh. it's not like super heavy caked on i just got concealer in my nose but yeah like i'm it's not like super heavy like caked on concealed it's just kind of like natural so it just like tones it down a bit but normally my skin's pretty good like i don't know like i'm pretty lucky i have pretty clear skin it's just like i get like hormonal breakouts so like that's what i have right now like i have this like yeah so next i'm gonna do my brows a bit just because my eyebrows are so like they're so patchy so i'm just going in with the spoolie i'm probably blocking everything i'm doing and then i'm just going in this is like my mom's brand but it's like the anastasia perfectly hills brow ways so i'm just like lightly Mimicking hair-like strokes as I fill in the end. I don't really like worry about it that much. It's just to really fill in like the patchy spots, which a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't even really notice it, but I don't know. Just something like I see okay so next i'm gonna do bronzer bronzer for me is kind of crucial just because i'm so pale and just a little trick that i do is i just take my bronzer i put it as i normally would but then a little extra thing that i like to do is i like to take a light hand and tap it over my like freckly areas and it just like i don't know i'm not a big fan of my freckles i just think it makes me look kind of dirty and gross i don't i don't know but i just like tap it over it because i feel like it makes me look a little tanner because
because like obviously I'm freckled here because the sun hits it so if I like I don't like the key here is to be light-handed like don't like pack on no no but yes um next I'm just going in with highlight obviously this is kind of like a no makeup makeup look so like I'm not going in like excessively I mean I'm probably excessive compared to the normal person but it's not like insane just like light amount so I don't know I just look like glowy and very natural okay so for my eyes I literally just go in with my bronzer and I just like put it into the crease of my eye I don't really care enough to conceal my eyelids even though I probably should but oh well and then I just take my finger and my highlight and I put it on my inner corner and a little bit under my brow bone. I always get it under my eye when I take my finger. Okay, so before I do mascara, just because it's not waterproof, I take matte finishing spray. This is also crucial for my oily ass skin. And I just like... mist it all over. And the reason I do this before my mascara is because it makes my mascara bad. So now I'm just going in with mascara. And then once I do my mascara and my finishing spray like dries, I just go in with a mattifying powder all over my face. And then if I'm still a flop and got mascara under my eyes, I just take, I let it dry, and then I take my spoolie. I scrape it off. And then if I'm feeling it that day, I put a little lip gloss on. So that's literally it for this look as you can see it's very minimal very simple and you can even honestly like simple it down even more this is just like what i like to do and yeah if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and check out all my social medias there's always linked down below and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching bye